This is my painting, Sweet Pea, and it's on a 76 by a meter canvas, which is one of my smaller canvases that I paint on. It's painted on a white background, and for many years I painted on dark blue backgrounds. That was my preference because of the, the dark provides this beautiful contrast and brightens the colours, and when you layer them, they, they really pop. And you, you can get lovely textural finishes doing that. And it was something that was very familiar to me and it, um, I knew that it worked. And I felt for a couple of years before I transitioned to a white background that I wanted to progress and move. But it, I'm a slow changer and there's a lot of comfort in staying safe. So it took me a while, but I'm painting on white backgrounds now and I absolutely love it. It's a real game changer for the acrylic paint. You can, I, I use them much more diluted now. So you can get these beautiful washes, um, really textural, loose washes. You can see the brush strokes in them. And um, so it's quite a different finish and it's moving my work to be looser and more fluid and the lines are wobblier and um, more random. and. I really like it. So Sweet Pea um, came from the series that I was doing that reflected on um, our relationship with our inner self and particularly with our younger selves. And, and so I was thinking a lot about internal communication that goes on. And for me, birds often represent inspiration or ideas um, and carriers of message, messages. I suppose. When I first painted this bird here, it extended right above her head and wrapped around and she wore it like a shroud or like a cloak and um, something about it felt wrong. When I, more and more I realised that the answers to life's problems or the solutions that we need to um, help us progress or direct our decisions, they, most times they come from within and um, even when there's a need for reassurance or wanting someone outside ourselves to tell us what to do, um, there's so much value in listening to that inner voice. And so instead of shrouding and wrapping around her as I originally planned, this bird became an extension of her hair and her mind, signifying that learning to listen to the mind and be receptive to the messages that come from us, whether it's um, from, you know, general aspirationally from people in our past, our parents or things we've learnt in our family or parts of our personality or mind or soul that are uniquely ours, those things we can use them to feed our conscious thought and our decision making. So here I've put a little sun, that's the light, the, the inspiration, the lightening of the mind, the discovery of knowledge of consciousness. And as those rays extend up, they feed, that light feeds that blossoming and that becoming and that expansion of her mind to produce this beautiful garden of sweet peas. I've written for Sweet Pea and I will share a story with you. Sweet Pea, call me in moon time, the same you hear now. Write me in story, know me more how. Grow me from good parts, plant me with vines, shelter me safe now, light me from blind. Guide me inside now, sing me my muse. Scent me with memory, fill me with bloom. All of these words and these verses, they're a call to make time to be still, to reflect, to write, to understand the self and the needs, to create a place that is protected and safe. And with those two elements, growth comes and that's what's happened to my sweet peace. 